What's up YouTube, Tom from Tech Stops here coming your way and today I'm reviewing the Think Tank Airport Antidote V2. This is a high quality DSLR camera bag and you can you know, use it for any of your camera needs, it doesn't have to be a DSLR but it's a really high quality product from Think Tank. You can check them out at thinktankphoto.com. You may have seen my unboxing video about a month or so ago where I unveiled three of the Think Tank bags. If you haven't, in the description box below I'll put a link. This Antidote V2.0, or Airport Antidote V2.0, is retailing for $199. You can get it directly from Think Tank and a whole bunch of uh, really high quality retailers. In Australia, it's uh, less available. It's a really innovative company and they're really starting to break, break ground in Australia. So go down to your local camera store and really request Think Tank and get them to stock it because it's a high quality product and they really make innovative products. For those of you quick, just quickly that don't know Think Tank, they was, it, the company was set up a number of years ago by two designers and two professional photographers, one which won actually a Pulitzer Prize for photography in 2005, I believe, and they really designed their bags all about the photographer in mind. So it's about getting access to your equipment quickly, it's about your equipment being stored safely, and really about having an innovative design, and it doesn't just or Think Tank doesn't just do run-of-the-mill bags that you can get in every other by every other company with standard features. They really do think about the end user, which is fantastic. The, the uh, actual materials they use are really high quality from the actual material. The uh, rain cover bag you get, all the accessories for your tripod mounts are great. The actual zippers are fantastic. They've also got lockable zippers up the top, so you can put a little lock on it and your gear is all safe. And it's just a really fantastic... Um, construction all around with all three think bag think tank bags that I tried so there'll be other reviews for the other two as well this airport antidote retailing for 199 bucks like I did say is really made for the traveler in mind I used it on a couple of commercial uh, interstate flights in Australia and it really did work well in terms of you can take this one on board so not only does it carry a whole bunch of pro gear lenses couple of bodies you can even have a 400mm f2.8 in here, so not only does it carry that, but you can also take it on board. So yes, it will probably uh, go over the weight restrictions, but you just pretend that it doesn't weigh that much and you walk straight through and they don't harass you because it's a really compact design. It will also carry a 15-inch laptop. I carry my 13-inch MacBook Pro and it has endless space in there. And the good thing about the laptop, it actually comes in a separate sleeve, so you just pop this one open and it sits at the front right here. And what that allows you to do, it's really nice padding for your laptop. So it's actually a good secondary laptop bag. So you don't even have to use it with the full camera bag. And it's got all sorts of nice apartments and, and things to put in here. It's got a little clip for your keys. So it's really fantastic from that part. But if you're not using it and you want to cut some weight out, you can actually take it out and you don't have to have it in there. You can close that up and you can use that front section for water or you know a sweater or whatever it may be. So it's really good from that perspective. And it's all in all, the Airport Antidote is actually now my full-time camera bag. So not only do I use it for day trips, if I want something slightly smaller, Think Tank, Think Tank has plenty to uh, sort you out just for a small day trip. But for full day day treks um, and for interstate travel, I really use this one. It's very comfortable. The back ventilation is fantastic, which I'll show you in just a moment. The straps are really high quality. They've got a lot of padding there. And the features in the bag are second to none much better than every other brand that I've tested. So I'm an absolute Think Tank convert, and if you haven't tested them out, I do recommend that you go to your local camera store or go to uh, thinktankphoto.com or Amazon or any other retailer and do check these ones out. They're really worth it. And if you're in Australia, go down to your camera store and request that they get some Think Tanks in because they are quality-wise second to none. So for the second part of this video, what I will do is I'll open it up and I'll show you a, a more in-depth view of the bag and I'll talk about some of the features and I'll point them out. And then what I'll do is fill the whole bag up with a whole bunch of uh, gear and I'll show you how much it can actually hold. So let's get into that part of the review. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give me the big thumbs up or the like button. Just click it below and let me know that you like it. And I'm always keen to hear from you guys. So just post below and let me know what you think of Think Tank or your camera gear or whatever it is. Just post below and, uh, and get in touch. So let's get into this second part of the video. Alright, so there's a lot of gear here in front of you as you can see, and this will all fit into the airport antidote really nicely, snugly, everything will be really well protected, and there's plenty of gear as you can see, so I'll quickly run through it all. 
You got the Canon 5D with a 135mm uh, f2 lens there. You got a 70 to 200 f4 IS lens by Canon. A Tekina 11 to 16mm f2.8. This one here is a Canon 17 to 40 f4. The last lens there is a Canon 16 to 35 f2.8. And then you've got the uh, Canon 50mm f1.8. You've got the Canon Speedlight 430EX Mark II. You've also got a 400D crop sensor Canon there. We've got a trigger, a remote. You've got a filter holder, a pouch. Rain cover from Think Tank, which is excellent. I've got one set of uh, battery chargers. Got some filters there. I've got a Lumix camera point and shoot on the end. A, this is very innovative. This is a SD and compact flash card holder from Think Tank. So I've got one of these. It's called the Pixel Pocket Rocket. And then I've got a Kyoto Rocket Blower. So we'll throw all of this into this bag. And as you can see, it will fit really nicely. So throw the 5D in there. 70 to 200. We'll put the lens on or lens hood. 400D with a crumpler extended shoulder strap. Tekina 11 to 16 wide angle lens for the crop sensor. Canon 17 to 40. Uh, F4, and in that way, Canon 1635 2.8, got the little 50mm pixel pocket rocket, got the filters, put them into this, just move that aside. where my pouch will go as well. Up the top here, get my trigger, flashlight, that actually goes in right there. My batteries go up the top. Kyoto rocket blower. Well, oh, actually put that Right there with the 7200, nice and snug. This is my Lumix point and shoot camera. If I'm doing a little bit of scouting, I'll actually put that with the Pixel Pocket Rocket. Got my charger. Charger goes up with the cables up the top. And I've got the flash right there. Also comes with, it also fits with the case nicely, so I can just put the case on, but for now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I won't. And the waterproof pouch. And then what I will show you, is you also have a whole bunch of room right there to fit whatever you want. So you can zip that up nicely and it's nice and snug. But you can also put your laptop right in there and then you put it straight in. Clip that over, zip it straight up, and there you go. That's the Airport Antidote V2.0. You got two bodies in there, about five lenses, a point and shoot camera, you got a speed light, you got a flashlight, your chargers, memory cards, filters, absolutely everything in there, and it's absolutely good to go. And it's actually really comfortable on the back because it's got these nice straps. You've got nice padding on the back here. And just some of the other features which I mentioned earlier. It's also got this business card holder here. So you can pop your business card in there and it shows up really nicely. It's got a really nice convenient little zip here. Little pocket there which I've actually got some stuff from when I was using it. So it's got a nice little pocket there. The zips are really nice and sturdy and they've also got nice lockable zips so you can really use them nicely you can lock it up it's secure absolutely perfect it's got all sorts of good straps on the side 
Also used to carry your tripod. It comes with attachments for the tripod. It's got a nice handle on the other left side so you can hold it. Absolutely perfect. If I show you the camera case, what it also does come with, which I didn't mention earlier, is a secure cable which is connected to the bag permanently and it's got a lock there, combination lock. You don't actually get this one here that's connected to, but you get this one right here. It's got a combination lock. You can lock it around securely. Again, something so people can't just snatch it away, which is excellent. It's got all sorts of nice plastic lined pockets for weatherproofing. And just the actual laptop bag, for instance, you can just see the quality of the Think Tank products. All sorts of nice pockets there. You've got an attachment for the keys. So that's it there. That's the Think Tank Antidote. Airport Antidote 2.0. Check it out on thinktankphoto.com. You can see how much gear it can actually hold. You really can't go wrong with something like this. So check them out and let me know what you guys think by posting below this video. I'm keen to hear your thoughts. Tom from Tech Stops here. I'll catch you next time. Push that one, 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 push that one